Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and today we're making these face masks for personal use. They're made from cotton fabric and a couple pieces of elastic. They go together pretty darn fast. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need one piece of cotton fabric measuring 7 inches by 14 inches, two pieces of elastic, each measuring 8 inches, I'm using some quarter inch wide elastic. You'll need some pins or um, I'm using my uh, clips to hold things together. And then you'll need your sewing machine and your iron. Do keep your iron hot, we'll be using it quite a bit. You can find these exact measurements along with a supply list on debsdays.com. I've added a direct link in the description right below this video. First, we're gonna fold the fabric so the right sides are facing together. We're going to fold it and we'll have a 7 inch square now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just press it real quick. I need to use this line for something up here. And now we need our elastic. We're going to open this back up and we're going to place the first piece of elastic right up against that line I pressed right in here. We're going to make it face on the, towards the inside. I'm going to close this back up. I'm going to put a clip right there. Um, you can uh, make it match up to the edge or hang it out a little bit. doesn't really matter. Then we're going to take, open it back up, grab the, and it's going to go right down here about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And then let's close that back up. This is going to kind of be buckled a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm going to put, put a clip right there. You can pin it if you have pins. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. I'm going to stick this on the inside. And right up against that pressed line, I'm going to stick my first elastic piece, clip it, and then I'm going to grab the other end of it and move it down to right here, about a quarter inch from the edge, and clip or pin it. I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to stitch, um, starting here at the corner, I'm going to go over the top of my elastic a couple times to secure it, and then I'm going to go to right about here and stop. Then I'm going to pick up again over here, go on down here, I'm going to stitch over the elastic a few times, and then I'm going to work my way around. Down across the bottom, I'm going to stitch a couple times back and forth on top of that elastic, and on up to the top right here and stitch over the elastic a couple times. So I'm leaving this space open for turning, but otherwise I'm stitching around it. This is already closed because it was our fold, so we don't need to stitch up there right now. As you're sewing, make sure your elastic is tucked out of the way. Don't sew over it here, you're just sewing it on the ends. As you can see, I've gone ahead and stitched around but left that space open. Now I want to go ahead and clip the corners. Corners have been clipped. Now I want to turn this right side out. You may find you want to stick something in the corners to get them pushed out all the way. You can either use your fingers, um, a pencil. Um, uh, sometimes I use the end of the scissors to do it as well. There's that opening we had where we turned it, we're going to fold that edge under just to match the rest of the um, seam. We want to press that because we're going to sew that closed in a little while, but not yet. In fact, we want to go ahead and press this whole thing right now. Stay away from the elastic though, it could melt. Now we're going to make the pleats. We're going to take the easy way out. We're going to fold this in half. I'm going to press it real quick. And then I'm going to use that middle to press these pieces too. So we're going to move the ends into there, press it. I think I'll press it over one more time. When I open it up, I have little folds already started. That's going to be great for us for the pleats. Let's start at the bottom. Let's move it down just a little bit. Take the next one, move it down a little bit, fold the next one on top as well. And then just adjust. You're go going to want to look at both sides just to make sure this distance 
here is the same as over here. It doesn't have to be exact. The purpose of the fold is so that it expands when you put it on your face, but the folds, the pleats, excuse me, the pleats don't have to be exact. I'm gonna go ahead and use my clips to hold these in place. You can use pins if you'd like, or you can just hold it and take it over to the machine if you want. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to stitch. I want to make sure I get that opening. Remember where we had turned it. I'm going to stitch about a quarter inch from the edge. Actually, I'm going to go about an eighth inch all the way around the entire thing. And then I'll be back and we'll do some extra stitching. All right, I've gone ahead all the way around it. I've closed up that side. I'm going to go ahead and stitch inside this stitching just a little bit more to finish, finish it off just a little bit more all the way around. All right, I went ahead and did another set of uh, stitches on the inside just to secure it a little bit better. As you can see, they go together pretty darn fast. You'll wanna wash these after each time you use them. Also remember to wash your hands, keep your hands away from your face, keep up that social distancing, and stay safe out there. If you'd like to see some more sewing and craft projects, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the blog at debsdays.com you'll find an entire section dedicated to free sewing and crafting projects. See you next time with another project.